Yeah, so we're not allowed to have bathtubs. We're not allowed to have bathtubs. We're not allowed to have bathtubs in the park. So I don't know what jurisdiction that is. It states that you're not allowed to have any bathtubs. We're being told that if we don't leave the park, we'll be arrested for trespassing. Police are sweeping through the park, selectively evicting occupiers. Sweeping through a 24-7 park that doesn't close. In fact, it's, it's by law that this doesn't close. It's a privately owned public space that is never supposed to close. Rawls has just been apprehended by police. Stop the running right at me. So we got the YouTube. Yeah, I got it on camera. They just grabbed it. When I started this, I was one of the people arguing, oh, police are part of the 99% too, we need to reach out to them, we, we need to create a big tent, we need all the unions, but experience has, has taught me different. If you don't see it, if you, it's not been your experience, then, then you don't believe it, because you're raised to believe that things are a certain way. And that's privilege, I think. It's a certain, it's a privilege to believe that things are the way that we're taught that they are, because it means you haven't had the, the personal experience of being brutalized. Like I, just for doing what I'm doing right now, standing on a sidewalk filming things, I've been arrested, I've been beaten up, I've been pepper sprayed, and, and how can you not be angry? I have no answers here for this one. I really don't, because the anger is justified. It's, it's inhuman to treat human beings this way, to violate their rights and then to charge them with fraudulent charges to, to hurt human beings simply for assembly like this. For an order like go and arrest a couple people at random playing music after a 99 mile march, then they, the whole idea is to break our spirit and end the day on, on their terms. And that didn't work. And they seemed determined to just break their spirit with these random rule changes and random arrests and to end the day on their terms. And whatever the powers that be can do with whatever fucked up orders they can get from on high to change it into protesters versus police instead of protesters versus the power establishment, that's what they want to do. And of course, there is a false dichotomy there because the police are part of the power establishment. They're, they're the army of the rich. They're the army of Wall Street. Bloomberg himself called it his army.